Hello everyone. This hour on Verbling, the next in my Learning Through Pictures series, we are completing our unit on ready to wear. In other words, our unit on clothing and how to describe it, how to describe how we wear it, the body parts related to it, measurements, all those things related to how we look. In this class, we'll be doing a complete review of all the vocabulary as fast as we can. Let's see how much you can remember. If you haven't been here, then you'll learn it, so no problem. And then we're going to move on to finishing the activity we started last week, telling a story. We're going to play a game to tell the story, and I'll teach you the rules of the game. It's pretty easy. So that's a bit about my class. Here's a bit about me. I'm John Eric, your verbling teacher for this hour, and I'm an American teacher from New York hanging out in Lisbon, Portugal to bring you this class. Here are three quick rules to help you participate. Please turn off, tune in, and open up. That means turn off your microphone when you're not speaking, like right now, so we can keep the classroom quiet. Rule two is tune in to the new words that you're learning and use them actively in the class so I can correct you. And rule three, open up to your classmates. Relax and have fun. We're all here to learn. And this is a safe and respectful place to practice your English. And that is a little bit about me. Now I want to know a little bit about you. So let's say hello to George. I've seen you before, George, right? Yes. Ah, okay, that's what I thought. George, remind me something about yourself so I know who you are. <laughs> I remember your face, but I don't okay. remember where you're from or what you do. I'm, I'm from Spain. I'm a building engineer. Uh -huh. uh, nowadays, I'm an employee. And uh, I don't know. I'm here to learn English Excellent. With, with you. And do you like pictures? Yes, yes. I, I Pictures like are good, right? Very useful. Pictures rock. That's how we're going to learn, through pictures. Okay, so let's say hello to some people I don't know. Uh, Marta. Hello, Marta. How are you? Uh, hello. Hi, Marta. Where are you from? Uh, from Spain, too. From Spain? Oh, my God. You know George. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Oh. <laughs> By the I way, live uh, on the Basque Country. Oh, you're from Basque Country. By the way, George, is it George yeah. or is it Jorge? Uh, Jorge. Jorge. You see, because I speak Portuguese, so I see George, I see J and I think George. Sorry. Where are you? <laughs> are you from the Basque Country too? Do you know Marta? No, no. I'm from Asturias. Uh, very close, but... Uh, ah, very close. So three, now you, know, now you three, know each other. 300 kilometers. Ah, well, you can still meet up for a coffee if you want. Actually, you can come down here to Lisbon. We can all meet up. Let's say hello to Vicky. Hello, Vicky. How are you? Hello. I'm fine, thanks. Good. Vicky, you are not from Spain. No, I'm from Greece. You're from Greece. Oh, very good. And where in Greece? Uh, Piraeus, uh, near Athens. Near Athens. Okay, very good. And is that you and your dog? Yes. <laughs> Ah, okay, very good. What kind of dog is that? Uh, it's a Cocker Spaniel. It is? I can't tell <laughs> in the picture. I can't tell what it is. It looks like a hairy creature. But if you say it's a Cocker Spaniel, I will believe you. All right. And everyone, let's say hello to our resident super student, Yuki. He's over there in the corner. Hi, Yuki. Please Welcome don't back. Call me a super student. It's too late, Yuki. I'm I already nervous to hear that. It's too late. I'm sorry. It's over and done with. Uh, so listen, everyone. Here's how we're going to do this. I think some of you were not in the previous class, so that's OK. Don't worry. So uh, Yuki put our presentation in the window. Let's see which one this is. Is this the one that I posted? Yes, it is. OK. So you can open that presentation, or I'll just share it on my screen as well, so you don't have to. But also. Let's open the notes as well, too. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick review, which is a test for some of you. And it'll be a learning opportunity for others. So the notes are they're going to be the second link that I post. Uh, no, they're not, because I can't post it. Hold on. 
Give me a second. All right, so underneath Yuki's post, you'll see my post. So those are the notes. And I want to show you this just because I made a few changes. And I want to show you how to review the vocabulary and stuff. So okay, now you can see my screen. Now you can see the notes. If you want to open the notes, you'll see this picture, learning through pictures, this graphic. Scroll down. My contact is there. Scroll down. The table of contents of all six units we've done. This unit is a little longer than the others because it's got lots of useful vocabulary. And I think it's uh, something everyone can relate to. So I added lots and lots of vocabulary to this unit. The other ones are a bit shorter. So we're going to do our story or anecdote today. But if you want to see any of, the any of the pictures, just go here, click on Unit 6, and scroll through the pages, starting with page, page 5. So the last thing we did was the body, woman, man, the face, the head. Before that, patterns, uh, types of material. Uh, then general vocabulary about clothes. And then men's clothes before that, and women's clothes. Oh, there's a little mistake there. That should be on a different page. Sorry, page break. Okay, now it's on a different page. And I think that was everything. Let's double check. Is that everything? Yeah, and then before that we had animals. All right. So if you ever want to review the vocabulary for free, free of charge, just open this document and then try to test yourself by trying to recall in English the precise words that we used. But guess what? I have got another way which is even better. So if we go back to the top of the document, go back to page two, page three. Okay, on page three it says how to review. So this is something new. I prepared flashcards for you that should say, I have prepared. I have prepared flashcards for you to review vocabulary. They have a picture on one side and the word in English on the other. There are translations available in many languages too. So these flashcards, I think I have translations for Spanish, Turkish, Russian, uh, a variety of languages. Not all languages, but quite a few. So in that case, you would see the word, you'd see the picture, the word in your language, and then on the other side, you'd see the word in English. Um, so in that way, you can test yourself on the words by using the free app called Anki. I will send you a deck of vocabulary cards. The application is free on most platforms. It works in Windows, Apple, and Android. I think you have to pay for it in Apple, though. But each deck will have a cost of one euro because I made these myself, and it took a lot, a lot of time. So I have to charge a little bit. But remember, there's always a free way. The free way is just open this document and test yourself. But if you want a more efficient way, this app, Anki, will tell you when you need to re remember the words. It'll, it'll test you on the moment, or at the moment, you're most likely to forget. So it's an intelligent software. And it's what professional language learners and professional memory experts often use. You don't have to use Anki. There's others. Super Memo is a famous one. Uh, there's three or four of these. There's even a few online apps. But I like this one because it's free, and it's uh, something that you can manipulate if you if you know a little bit of programming, basic programming. You can customize it a lot. So that's why I use it. Uh, any updates in the future on any of the decks will be sent to you for free. So even if you pay for it, if I make changes, I'll send you out the new copy. OK, so you email me if you want to do that. So that's another option for reviewing. OK, just so you know, I want to make that announcement. All right, so there was that. And the next thing is this, learning through pictures. This lesson, ready to wear. OK, normally. We learn the vocabulary through asking and answering questions. That gives you lots and lots of repetition. 
both in the question and in the answer. Well, today it's going to be a quick, super, super quick review. So we're going to do it a little differently. I'll ask you the questions, you answer. Okay? But I do want you to repeat the location words that you hear and possibly a description. So my question will be, what's the article of clothing plus location plus description? Your answer should repeat the structure with there is or there are location and description. Here's an example. What's the greenish article of clothing right in the middle, right in the middle of the picture? The location word is right in the middle, so that's what you have to repeat. The description is greenish, so that's what you have to repeat. Uh, descriptions could be size, shape, color, a characteristic, or an action. Like what's the article of clothing doing? Is it hanging? Is it blowing in the wind? Uh, so here's an example. I might say, what's the greenish article of clothing right in the middle? Your answer could be any of the following. There's a pair of greenish trousers right in the middle. There are greenish trousers right in the middle. Okay, that's without the description. There are trousers right in the middle with a pair... Whoops, that's a mistake. <laughs> I should say, there are trousers right in the middle with a greenish color, not a pair of greenish color. Sorry, little mistake there. So what I'm trying to say is, as long as you repeat the description and the location, then you're fine. The actual vocabulary item, you have to remember. That's the part you're going to recall. So as, as we do this as a review, instead of you asking the questions and, and I'm just there to correct you, I'm going to be asking the questions so we can do it really fast. And here is our first set of pictures. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to everyone. And let me just share my PDF so that I can, if I share my browser, I can't see you. So let me share the PDF. There we go. Now I can see you. And we're going to queue it up. Alrighty then. So we're just going to go around the room and we're going to try to do the whole review of everything as fast as we can. Maybe 15 minutes or so. Any words you don't know, just make your best guess and I'll correct you. By the way, if I correct you, I want you to repeat the correction. So I'll say it again, then you repeat. Okay? Here we go. Yuki, what's the article of clothing in the top left? Uh, there, there, are, there, there, are, there is a business suit on, on the top left. Okay. There is or there are? No. There is or there are? There, uh, there, is, uh, there is a business suit uh, on the top, on the top, on, on the top of left, on the top. Mm. On the top left. On the top left. Good. That's per perfect. So listen and repeat. There's a business suit on the top left. There is a, to there is a business suit on the, on the top left. Good, but instead of saying there is, just say there's. There's. There's, there's, a suit, there's a business suit on the top left. Very good. Our official word is going to be jacket, uh, I think. <laughs> Actually, I have to open my vocabulary. Now I can't even remember what my official word was. Hang on a second. Uh, only because I'm going to give you the answer that we're going to use in the review in the Anki cards. So that's why I want to make sure that I'm giving you the same answer that I'm going to test you on. Hang on just a second here. Let me just make sure I call that jacket. So yeah, okay. So the blue official suit to the suit to the jacket. There is, uh, there is a blue blue blue, blue 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 sports jacket actually. Blue sports jacket because it's not really a formal jacket. It's an informal jacket. So blue sports jacket. Okay. There's there is a there is a blue blue sports jacket in the left top corner. Right. In or on? Hmm? In, in or on? In the left top corner. In the left top corner. Okay, that sounds that sounds good. Fine. Okay. So we're gonna go to Vicky. Vicky, you're gonna repeat the last one and then I'm gonna give you a new one. What's in the left top corner, Vicky? Uh, there's uh, 
eh, el blue suite sports jacket sports jacket there is a blue sports jacket on the in the left the top corner perfect in the left top corner very good mm -hmm. and what's just below the sports jacket Vicky what's just below the sports jacket mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, red trousers in the, in just below very good very and, good okay so listen and repeat there are red trousers just below the sports jacket there are red trousers just below the, sp the blue sport jacket that's it let me double check that I said the same thing in my notes. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I chose one word over another, so I want to make sure I said trousers, but I did. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> you can also say pants, of course. Pants, pants. pants mm -hmm. are for men or women. We tend to say trousers, though, only for men, just so you know. Okay. By the way, just so everyone knows, I can't really see the chat window, so if anyone is writing in the chat window, someone let me know, because uh, sometimes class ends and I realize people have been sending me messages and I didn't know it, because when I'm sharing my screen like this, it's hard to see uh, everything. All right, very good. So now we're going to go to Marta. Marta, tell me, oh, sorry, Marta, what's just below the blue, the blue sports jacket? One more time. Mm, the red trousers or pants. Uh -huh. Are where? They are uh, just. They are just. They are they're just. They're just uh, red trousers. No, 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 no. You gotta no. give the location. Huh. They are just a baja. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? They are. <clears throat> listen, listen again. There are red trousers just below. Just below what? Yeah. The red tra uh, trousers just below. Yeah. Just below what? Uh, the um, the blue. The blue sport jacket. That's it. The blue sports jacket. Blue sports jacket. Yeah. That's it. Fantastic. So the location words we've learned are in the top left corner, just below, and now here's a new one. Marta, uh, what's the article of clothing? Just to the right of the red trousers. Mm. Below to the. No, 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 no. Just to ah. the right. Ah, to the right is a uh, short trousers, maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe, or just a pair of shorts. Just ah, a pair. A a pair of shorts. Repeat. Uh, just a pair of shorts. Okay, listen to the whole thing. There's a pair of shorts just to the right of the red trousers. Repeat. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> listen and repeat. There's a pair of shorts. Repeat. There's a pair of shorts just to the right just to the right of the red trousers of the red trousers that's it yeah. so we learned we learned in the top left corner just below and we learned just to the right we learned sports jacket red trousers and shorts okay so now that you know how to do the review we're gonna go at lightning speed here we go <laughs> George What's to the right of the red trousers? Uh, Jorge, there, not George. Jorge. Yes, yes. Uh, there are uh, a pair of shorts just to the right of the red trousers. Good, but it's not there are because a pair, there are a pair, there is a pair. It should be, I think there is a pair. And there is a pair of shorts. Of you know what? Shorts. You know what, actually, George? Now I'm confused. I would say there is a pair, but am I wrong about that? Hold on a second. Now I'm confused. I think there should be there is a pair there, because pair is a singular word. But let me just double check. 
because now I'm now I'm saying this and I'm thinking, wait a second, is that how we say it? Is pair plural or singular? Is pair it should be singular. Hold on, let me just double check. I'm not making some bizarre mistake, because then sometimes I'm so used to not hearing correct English that then nothing sounds right to me anymore. Oh, that's why, <laughs> because it can be plural or singular. Oh. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Interesting. So here's what I would say. I was just taking a uh, quick look. Apparently, it can be both. I would say most native speakers will probably say there is a pair. Um, but there are some differences between British and American English. British tends to use the plural of things. But I'm American, so we'll go with the singular in this case. I think it'll be, I think it'll get you in less trouble. So we'll go with there is a pair. So listen, repeat. There's a pair of shorts just to the right of the red trousers. There is a pair of shorts just to the right of the red trousers. Right, and what's just above them? Above them, uh, there is a green jacket. Jacket? No. Oh. What a jacket? No, it's a shirt. It's a shirt. What kind of shirt? Uh, <clears throat> Look at the arms of the shirt. Look at the arms. That's your clue. Look at the arms of the shirt. I don't are, know. What are you the say. arms short? No, they are large. Large? 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 L long. 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 What do we call what do we call the arms of the shirt? What do we call the arms? Begins with an S. Has an L? Has an E? Has another E? Has a V? Has another E? <laughs> Rhymes with leave. Who wants it? Nobody. Here's the answer, George. There's a long sleeved shirt just above the pair of shorts. Repeat. Long, uh, long sleeved. Long sleeved. That's it. Long sleeved. So the whole thing. There's a long sleeved. There's a. Oh wait. And what color is it, George? What color? This is green. Is it completely green, or is it green and a little bit of blue? Is it a hundred percent green, uh, or? Yeah, may Maybe maybe no green at all. Uh, uh, well, it's a bit yes, green. It's, it's I don't I don't know who to say this color in English. Uh, so this would be a greenish. 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 There you go. So the whole thing goes like this. There's a greenish long sleeve shirt just above the shorts. Repeat. There is a greenish long slim shirt above the shorts. Good. You can also say just above because it means close to. Just above. Just above the shorts. That's it. Very good. So we've got in the corner, just below, just to the right, just above, sports jacket, red trousers, Brown shorts. Now I think a, a a pair of brown or beige shorts and a greenish long sleeve shirt. So that's how we're doing the review. We're going to go a little faster now. But first, let's say hello to Delara. Hello, Delara. How are you? Hello, Delara. How are you? Hi. Hi. Are you fine. From? How are you too? Where are you from, Delara? I'm from Turkey. Am I saying your name correctly? Is it Delara like that? Yes. Oh, very good. Very good. So, we're doing a review of all the vocabulary we've learned in several lessons, mm -hmm. but if you weren't here, that's okay. You can still learn them, the words now. So, all you have to do is guess the word, but you have to repeat the location and the description. So, I said to George, just a minute ago, I said to Jorge, what's just above the pair of shorts, number seven, and he said, oh, there's a shirt just above the shorts. Well, it's true. It's a shirt. But what I want you to learn is long-sleeved shirt. And what I want you to learn is the color, greenish, right? Not completely green, partially green. 
So in the end, you have to repeat, there's a long, there's a greenish, long-sleeved shirt. Then the location, just above the pair of shorts. So we're talking about picture number two. Okay? Uh, so that's okay. how it works. You repeat okay. the location and the description, and you guess the word. Okay. Okay? Want to try? Okay. okay. All right. So first of all, there's a, uh, whoa, I said there's a long-sleeved greenish shirt just above the pair of shorts, number two. So listen to the question, Delata. Okay. What's just above the pair of shorts? What's uh, just above? Number two? No, seven. Number two, what's just above number seven? Yeah, what's just above number seven? Uh, just a pair of shorts. What's just above number seven? Just above. Just about Mm -hmm. uh, number seven, a, a pair of brown shorts. Uh uh uh. Look, <laughs> above would be number two. Number right? two. Number two is above number seven. Clear? Yeah. Do you see number two? Yes, I see. Okay. Is it above number seven? Yes, it is. Mhm. Mm Okay, so all you have to do is first repeat the description. There's a greenish long sleeve shirt just above the pair of shorts. Repeat. A There's There is a greenish a greenish long sleeved long sleeved shirt shirt just above just above the pair of shorts. A pair of shorts. Pair of shorts. Pair of shorts. There you go. So mm -hmm. that so it's very important to use your ears. And don't worry if you get it wrong. I'll correct you. Don't worry. Okay, okay. now here's question number two, Delara. What is just to the right of the long sleeved shirt? In other words, number three. What's just to the right of the long sleeved shirt, Delara? Uh, there's a there is a, a pair of pair? Hmm? I don't um, think so. Number three is not a pair. Um, it's there's a um. What does it mean? I don't know. Guess. Guest. No, no. I want you to guess. <laughs> I want you to guess. Use your best guess. What do you think we call number three? Green. Green, good. Green what? Um, jacket, no. Ah, uh, it's a type of a shirt. Type. But if you compare it to number two, number two is a long-sleeved shirt. Mm -hmm. So what do you think we call number three? It's not a long-sleeved shirt. It's a... Uh, um, what's it? What's the opposite of long? Shorter. Short sleeved shirt. Short Very good. sleeved That's shirt. It. That's yeah. it. So, listen, repeat. There's a short sleeved shirt just to the right of the long sleeved shirt. Repeat, please. Okay. Go ahead, Delara. Repeat. There's a short sleeved shirt. There is a short um, sleeve shirt. Short. Just to the right. Um, short just to sleeve. the right. <laughs> just right. <laughs> I think so. It's good. What you're saying is good. Just to the right of the long sleeve shirt. Just to the right of the long sleeve shirt. Just to right, the sleeve is short. Okay, there you go. And Yuki, what do we call the shirt to the right of the short sleeve shirt, Yuki? Uh, uh, there is a. Uh, mm, Begins with a K. <laughs> K N. K N I. I need. Yeah. 
there is a knit, sh knit shirt, there is a knit shirt, there is a blue, bluish, bluish knit shirt, uh, just next, just, 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 just to the right of uh, short sleeved shirt, uh, long, long, short, no, short sleeve shirt, yes, short sleeve shirt. shirt. <laughs> that is correct. There's a knit shirt, K N I T. There's a knit. There's a blue knit. Wait a second. There's a light blue knit shirt, just to the right of the short sleeve shirt. There's a light blue knit shirt with a collar. It's got a collar on it too. So, yes, you can call it a polo, or you can call it an izod. You can call it a blueberry or Blyberry or whatever those brands are, you can call it that if you want, but we're really we call those knit shirts, the things that you use to play tennis or golf in, something like that. So, can Vicky, I say bluish? Bluish. Yeah, well, it's not bluish. It's it's blue. It's not in between blue and green or in between. But it's it's not a two colors. So I would just say light blue. Light blue. So, so it's not it's not. Uh, sorry. Sorry, John. Can you spell uh, light blue knit shirt? Knit or knit? Uh, I, I, I write. Okay. okay. Yuki's our our class speller. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, because me. I have some trouble with the chat window, so it's easier uh, for you to do it. But remember, okay, okay. You can you can uh, you can you can practice with the Anki cards if you want. And there's even a way to practice writing in the Anki. They, it can test you on spelling, too. It's something that you can set up if you want to write your answers instead of just remembering them. So, but send me an email if you want to talk about that. So, Vicky, what's to the right of the short sleeve shirt? One more time. What, um, Vicky? What is, I, I didn't hear you. What's to the right of the short sleeved shirt? What's to the right of the short sleeve? Shirt. Shirt. And uh, there is a, a light blue uh, a polo t-shirt. Nope. There's a light blue knit shirt. Knit shirt. K-N-I-T. A light blue knit shirt. Very good. That's it. And what's to the right of the knit shirt, Vicky? Uh, there's a uh, there's a pink uh, t-shirt. There's a pink t-shirt to the right. To yeah, the don't right. forget to the right. Yeah, okay. that's it. That's it. Very good. And and Marta, what's to the what's to the right of the knit shirt? One more time, Marta. The right. Of, uh, sorry. What's to the right of the knit shirt? I uh, uh, there's a. Uh, just repeat what Vicky said. What's to the right of the knit shirt? There's a... There's a pink shirt. Pink. Pink shirt. Pink t-shirt. Pink shirt. Pink t-shirt. Ah, sorry. Pink uh, t-shirt. Just to the... Uh, just to the right on the light blue shirt or night shirt. Very good. That's it. Just to the right of the light blue knit shirt. Very good. Um, and hey, Marta, what's the article of clothing in the center of the picture? What's the article of clothing in the center? Uh, something clothes yellow, but I don't know. Yeah, something yellow. Yeah. You wear it under your clothes. I don't know. <coughs> There's a pair of men's, listen carefully, oh, I, I need to mute you for a second, uh, Delara, because we've got too much noise on your side, because we're hearing children and we're hearing music and stuff, so I, you can turn on your microphone when you're ready to speak, okay, Delara, but for the moment, we're going to turn it off, because we're getting lots and lots of noise on your side. So, Marta, um, there's a pair of men's Briefs, B R I E F S. There's a pair of men's briefs right in the center, or there's a yellow pair of briefs right in the center. You can say briefs or underwear, but because it's for 
Then we say briefs. Okay. So what's okay. right in the center? In the center uh, are a, a pair of briefs. Good. But let's change the order of the words a little bit. Okay, so listen and repeat. There's a <coughs> excuse me. There's a pair. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's a yellow pair of briefs. Repeat. There's a yellow pair of briefs. Right in the center. Uh, right in the in the center. Good. So the location goes at the end of the sentence, not the beginning. We don't say right okay. in the center there's a pair of briefs. We say there's a pair of briefs right in the center. Very good. Oh, by the way, Jorge, what's right in the center? Uh, just right on the center there is a, a yellow pair of man briefs. Right in the center. Right on the center. In the center. In the center, okay. Correct. Remember, the location goes at the end, not the beginning. So if I say, what's right in the center? You say, there's a pair of yellow men's briefs right in the center. Right in the center goes at the end. Clear? Okay. Okay. And uh, tell me, what's to the right of the men's briefs, Jorge? Uh, there is a uh, uh, jersey, a uh, red jersey, just on the right. Just to the right. Just to the right of the yellow briefs. Okay, very good. In fact, we could say a turtleneck. Turtleneck. Right? Because of the type of collar that it has. Is it a jersey? Sure, you can say jersey. You can say jersey. You can say pullover. You could say sweater. All of those things would be okay. But the key word is turtleneck. Repeat, turtleneck. Uh, can you tip it? Uh, Yuki can. Type? I can. Okay. I can. Let's okay. see if Yuki did it. Can you see the group chat? Yes, yes, I can see okay. it. Okay. okay. If you can see it. Actually, can I see it? Hold on. Do I see it? Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second, Yuki. Not total, but turtle, like the animal. Uh, turtle, okay. turtleneck, like that. Turtleneck. Okay? Turtleneck. That's okay. it. So it's okay to say jersey, but you've got to say turtleneck because of the collar. So, Jorge, what's just to the right of the men's briefs? There is a red uh, turtleneck, uh, just... Jersey? The... Jersey? Uh, I don't understand you, this word. You said Jersey, right? Yes. So say Jersey, E at the end. Jersey. Ah, Jersey. So yeah. There is a red Jersey just on the right. Just to the right. Right to the right uh, of the yellow briefs. There okay. is a red Jersey. Yes, to the right of the uh, yellow briefs. Okay, good. I'm going to write that again because I want to make sure that what I'm saying is really clear. Hold on a second. Just to the right of the... And we've got to say theirs instead of there is because it's what a native speaker would say. So look how I wrote it. There's a red turtleneck just to the right of the yellow men's briefs. Not of the yellow men's briefs. That's a mistake. <laughs> Whoops. Hold on. That doesn't sound right. Not of the yellow men's briefs, of the of the men's yellow briefs. Because if I say yellow men's briefs, that means the men were yellow. But I want to say I want to say that the briefs were yellow, not that the men were yellow. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. So again, I'm not really going to write these because my my purpose here is to help you with fluency. And a good way to do that is to use your ears to listen and repeat. But using the Anki flashcards, you will get the reading and the writing as part of it. So if you want to uh, practice in that way, you certainly can. Um, OK, so for the remaining slides, I'm just going to ask you about the vocabulary. Uh, what's number 10, Yuki? 
number 10, uh, uh, it's a uh, blue jeans. Uh, they, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are a pair of blue jeans. Uh, just, to, just, to, just to the right of the red, red, of the red turtle, turtleneck. That's it. There's a pair of blue jeans just to the right of the red turtleneck, okay? Very good. For the rest of these, we can just work on the vocabulary because I want to I wanna do the review a little faster. So just to speed it up a bit. Vicky, uh, what's number 15? Uh, there's a pair of uh, socks. Of, of, there's a of, pair of socks in number 15. Of. Very good. And what's number 14, Marta? Uh, there's a, a winter, I don't know. A winter cap. A cap, yeah. A winter cap or a, a or cap. or a ski cap is also okay. Winter cap, ski cap, a blue ski cap, for example. Okay. All right. And Jorge, what's number thirteen? That's easy. Uh, shoes. There, uh -huh. there, there is a pair of shoes. There's a pair of shoes with red. What are those things to tie the shoes with? Red laces. Laces. There's a pair of shoes with red laces. Okay, Delara, you've come back. Nice to see you. Look at number twelve. <laughs> Do you know what number twelve is? You wear you wear that when it's really cold outside. You wear it under your clothes. It's really cold. You wear number twelve. You know what that is? Um, no. Okay, number twelve is what we call long underwear. There's a pair of long underwear. Long underwear. Yep, there's a pair of long underwear. Okay, very good. And back to Yuki. What's number eleven? What's number eleven? Uh, number eleven is a uh, is a, a green a, a greenish a greenish vest vest. Greenish vest. It's a vest. It's got no vest. sleeves. That's it. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go around as fast as we can until we run out of time. Vicky, sixteen. Uh, there's a pair of yellow gloves. Sixteen? Okay, that's eighteen. No, 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 eighteen. Yes. Eighteen is um, a pair of yellow gloves. That's okay. It's good. It's good. Number seventeen, uh, Marta. Uh, it's a tie. No? It's a tie. A red tie. That's red it. Red tie. Yeah. Number sixteen to the left of the tie, Jorge. Number sixteen. And there is a pair of gloves, yellow gloves. That's to the right. I asked to the left. <laughs> Look at 16, to the left. Ah, the 16. Red tie. Okay, okay. It's 18 is very similar. Uh, okay, 16. There is a, a pair of uh, brown shorts. Not shorts, because you swim in these. So they're not shorts. You swim ah. in uh, Swimming shorts? Swimming... Swimming trunks. Trunks. Okay. Swimming trunks. That's it. There's a pair of brown swimming trunks. And Delara, what's number 19? What do you think you call that? 19? Uh, a pink. There is a pink. I don't know. Pink belt. A pink belt. There's a pink belt. That's it. Very good. And Yuki number 20. What do we wear in the rain? Number twenty. What do we wear in the rain? Uh, number twelve. Number twenty is a uh, raincoat. Yeah, yellow raincoat. Big, yeah. ugly yellow raincoat, like the kind I used to wear when I was six years old. It's one of those old nineteen seventies yellow nasty raincoats. Okay, very good. And Vicky, what do we wear when it's really cold outside, like in Siberia? Look at number twenty-five. Mm. Uh, I don't know how to <laughs> explain it. It's what the Eskimos wear. Oh, the Eskimo coat. Eskimo coat or a parka. 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 Okay. Twenty-five is a parka. Parka. Okay. That's it. And Marta, what about twenty-four? That's not a parka, is it? Number twenty-four. 
Uh, maybe a jacket. It's oh. just a jacket, right. Himera. Yeah, it's just a jacket. We could call it many things, but it, basically it's a jacket. And <clears throat> number 23 and 22 are similar but a little different. They're similar but a little different. So, Jorge, let's do 22 and 23. Do you know the words for these two things? I don't know, but maybe night uh, just a uh, night uh, jacket. Number 23 and 22 are not jackets, no. Because no. they are knits. No, no, they're knits, so they're not jackets. So what do we call something that's knit? Mm -hmm. Like made of, you know, it's made on a loom, it's woven together. Jackets can be leather, they can be sewn together, but these are knit. You wear them over your shirt. You wear them under your jacket, but over your shirt. Give up? Okay. Then is Nate? Uh, but I don't know. Something like a jersey, but not a jersey. A little thicker than a jersey. What's thicker than a jersey, Jorge? Sorry, I, I, I don't know. Number twenty-two, number three are sweaters. Sweaters. Ah, sweater. Sweater. Right. Uh. Sweaters. And you can say also, um, what's the British word for these? Uh, sweater, pullover. Uh, there's another word I'm forgetting. Anyway, sweater, pullover. There's another word, but I'll, it'll come to me. But the difference is this. Jump up. Jumper, that's it. Yeah, yeah, jumper. <laughs> so sweater, pullover, jumper. But the difference is number 22 is a V-neck, Jorge, and number 23 is a cardigan. So V-neck and cardigan. 22 is V-neck, 23 is cardigan. So what's 23, Jorge? V-neck? Uh, 22 is a V-neck uh, sweater. 22 is V-neck and uh, 23. Sweater and 23 is. Uh, I don't know, I, 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 don't, I didn't hear you. Cardigan sweater. Cardigan. Cardigan, Cardigan sweater. Cardigan. Because it has butt, because it has buttons but, on buttons. it. Buttons. Because it has butt. Yes. Right, right. And, and Delara, what about 21? What do you think 21 is? Uh, 21 is. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Jackets and not not just a jacket. It's got a jacket and it's got trousers. It maybe even has a vest. It's um, an entire what? Business suit. Yeah, it's a business suit. S U I T suit. suit. Twenty one is a business suit. Probably a business suit. In the old days, we used to have leisure suits as well, but that's probably supposed to be a business suit. And oh, we're not done yet. Let's take a look. I want to go on to women's clothing. Hang on just a second here. Okay. Before we end the class, we're going to do a quick review of women's clothing. All right. So, back to Yuki. Number one? Uh, number one is it, uh, woman's dress. Red dress. Yeah. You, it, it actually, it's a little bit formal. So we can say a dress suit because night it's dress. Not, number one is not a night dress. No, no. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> number one is a, is a business suit for women. So it's a suit, uh -huh. but it has a skirt on it. But it's still a business suit, or you could say a dress. Um, uh, what is a business dress? Something like that. Anyway, I would just say a business suit for women because it has a skirt. Nowadays. Women wear pants like everyone else, <laughs> but in the old days, when this material was written, this is from an old illustrator, uh, maybe it was more common to wear a skirt. Anyway, so I would say there's a business suit, a women's business suit. Ah, but number two, Vicky, mostly that's for women, not men. What's number two? Um, Vicky? Uh, uh. 
What do you think, Vicky? Number two? Hello, Vicky? I, I don't wear these things. <laughs> ah, but do you know what it's called? Uh, ski, ski, se, se, I don't know. Skirts. Skirt. Okay. Skirts. Okay. There you go. So it's a, as Yuki says, it's a reddish skirt. 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 Okay. Reddish skirt. Very good. Uh, Marta, number three has a different word. Yeah, you could say it's a short sleeve shirt, but we have a special word for women's shirts. So what's number three, Marta? A yellow what? A special. I don't know. A. Mm, Begins with a, a B. Yellow. Begins a with a B. Who's the nail? Yellow is Lino. Uh, Begins with a B, has an L, has an O, has a U, rhymes with mouse. I don't know. A leaf uh, it's a, shirt, maybe, no. It's a yellow blouse. Blouse. Oh. Oh, I don't blouse. Know. blouse. Now you know. Exactly, okay. blouse. So, a yellow blouse. Uh, I think number four is supposed to just be a dress. That's pretty easy. So I think you all know what a dress is. That's easy. Ah, but number five, Jorge. What do you wear? What does your wife or girlfriend wear when you when she gets out of the bath? Number five. Yes, it's uh, 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 whopper. Uh. Almost. Robe. Bathrobe. 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 Very good. Uh, the the number six is what you wear under the dress. So number six is a little bit misleading. It's not a dress. It's like underwear you can wear under a dress, especially under a formal dress. So it kind of goes between your skin and the dress. What do you think we call number six? Uh, I don't know. So number six is a special word. It's called a slip. S-L-I-P. Right. Slip. And it's like underwear that goes between your skin and the dress. So it looks like a dress, but it's not exactly a dress. It's a slip. Repeat. Slip. Oh, and uh, since, since, we're on the con since we're on the topic of underwear, go ahead, Delara. Tell us number seven, number eight, and number nine. Do go for all three, Delara. Uh, this eighth one is underweight, underweight, uh, underweight. You can say underwear, yeah, yeah or underwear. you can say, or you can say panties, also. Panties. What about okay. seven? Seven. Uh, I don't know. In English, it's called a bra. B R A. Bra. bra. Right. And number nine? Want to guess Box. number nine? Uh, Almost. Almost. We say stockings because they're long. Stockings. 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 Right. So we've got six to nine. We've got slip, bra, panties, stockings. Those are all three. All right. And just to conclude our review of women's clothing, we're going to go back to Yuki for number 10. Number 10 is something that you wear to sleep in. 10, 10, uh, ten is uh, sleep. Not uh, a sleep, but uh, not something you wear a day. It's something you wear at... Uh, what's the opposite of day? Night, night to go. No. Exactly. Very good. So number 10 is a nightgown. Number 10 is a nightgown. Uh, Vicky, number 11 is not just shoes, but a special kind of shoes. Look at those shoes and tell me what they're called. Look at, look at, the, look at the heel of the shoe. What are those called? I don't know. Are the heels low? No, they're not low are, shoes. Are high. High-heeled shoes. High-heeled. That's it. H-E-E-L-E-D. High-heeled shoes. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, number 12 will skip. It's too difficult. <laughs> I'll get back to 12. Marta, number 13 and 14. 13 and oh. 14. Do them both. Uh, gloves and a scarf. Or no, scarf, no. Scarf is correct. Number 14 is a scarf. Number 13 is not uh, gloves. Ah, not gloves. Oh, but yeah. it begins with an M. It sounds like the word kitten, but it's not kitten. It begins with an M. <clears throat> Give up? Okay. The word... No, it's not kitten, Yuki. I was kidding. <laughs> yes, mitten is correct. Number 13 is mitten. Sounds like kitten. Okay, Jorge. Let's see if you got this. Number 15. Uh, there is a swing shoot. Swimming suit. A girl's swimming suit or women's swimming suit or the women's bathing suit. And Jorge... For the cookie, you win the cookie if you can guess what number 12 is. <laughs> well, number 12, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> number 12 is what your grandma wears. It's what your grandmother wears to make herself look thin. We don't wear these anymore. Maybe you wore these 100 years ago. It's the thing that compresses your stomach, pushes it in to give you a figure. Do you know what it's called? Anyone? 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 No? Jorge? Uh, no, no. No. Number fourteen. Number twelve can be called. Uh, the word that I'm going to use is I don't like this word, but it's girdle. Girdle. Huh? All right. Very good. That's it. Girdle. Um, there's another word too. I forgot what it is now. <laughs> I just forgot the other word. What is the other word? Oh my god, I'm just blanking on the other word. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. I can't believe it. Okay, I'm blanking. I can't remember. Ah, corset. Yeah, that's it. Corset. There you go. <laughs> I guess my memory is going. There you go. So I'm going to use the word girdle because that's the official word I'm going to test you on, but uh, you can also call it corset. It's not exactly a corset because a corset is something that is usually looks good and it's not. it doesn't have a... I don't know. A girdle is really to make you look thin. So that's why I'm using the word girdle. That's what that's for. A corset can be kind of decorative. All right. So we've done a review of all, of all the basic vocabulary words, we're going to stop the class now and I'm going to do the second hour. In the second hour, we're going to tell a story. The story is something we're going to create as a group. I'm going to do the story, create the story with you by asking you questions. And I'll give you, uh, it's a game. You're going to play a game to create the story. I'll give you the rules of the story, but remember, I have to stop this class and start the next one. So you're going to have to sign out and back in because uh, we have to stop every hour. So in the beginning, I'll give you the rules of the game. They're very, very simple. Basically, you're just answering yes or no to facts, and you're giving an answer if I ask you a question with who, what, when, why, where, or how. Okay? That's the only rules that you need to know, basically. Okay? So we'll start that in about one minute. Stick around for that. And your goal is to use as many of the vocabulary words as you can remember. Even the ones that were not in today's class, the ones from previous classes, are, are okay as well. Okay? So, I'll be back in about a minute and a half to do that class, our part two of our final class on clothing, ready to wear. See you soon. Bye for now, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you.